teacher, do you know what they say about Native Camp? They say that there are no students oh. here, or it's so difficult to have students that we just end up waiting and waiting and waiting and settling for the so-called sudden classes, where you only get paid 55 pesos for 25 minutes instead of the usual 80 to 104 pesos. So that's what worries many Native Camp teachers or many aspiring Native Camp teachers. What if I don't have a student? But the thing is, it doesn't have to happen to you because on this video, I will be sharing with you my secrets on how to be fully booked so that you don't have to settle for the 55 peso sudden classes anymore. And you just don't have to just simply wait and wait and wait until you end up wasting your entire day with no students. No one wants that. So if you'd like to get fully booked, this video is for you. I'll be sharing my secrets to make sure that you are going to be drowning in 80 to 104 peso per 25 minute classes. And to those of you who'd like to be a part of this company, don't forget to add my email address, askteacherkaren at gmail.com as the referrer and send me an email so that I can send you proven tips and tricks on how you can pass and be a native camp teacher in just two days. Don't forget to send me an email. And to be clear, teacher, the reason why I say 80 to 104 peso class is because it depends on your rank. I started a native camp around August 4th or August 7th. My starting salary was 80 pesos, but after two weeks with consistent and hard work, you get a four peso increase. So came August 16th, it became 84 pesos. Then um, came September, it's gonna, it was 88 pesos. So I'm basically at 88 pesos now. And my next increase would be to 92 pesos. So I'd like you to maximize that income potential and stop settling for 55 peso sudden classes. Why? Because imagine there's going to be a 10% tax deduction for that. So it's going to be roughly around like 49, 50 pesos for that class instead of what 80 to 104. Big difference, right? And many teachers have been complaining that why am I not getting any students at all? I've been waiting for hours waiting on standby but still no students so again that's the reason why i'm sharing these secrets to you now secret number one is you must aim to get a feature tag what's a feature tag a feature tag is Something given to new teachers if your self-introduction, especially your self-introduction video and profile photos are awesome. If they stand out, you will be given a feature tag. And what does that mean? Native Camp will be promoting you for free. Your students, all students, will be able to book your class for free. And who doesn't want a free class? So it means your students would see your name, even though you don't have students yet, like zero students, they'd see that, hey, Karen, Karen is teaching for free, so if I book her class, I will not pay a single yen or a single uh, new Taiwan dollar. I'm not going to be paying anything, so they'd be encouraged to book you. That was my secret to being fully booked for the first two weeks of my life in Native Camp. That feature tag, that feature tag promoting me to Native Camp students for free, and that feature tag letting the world know that I'm here and that my classes are available for free. Now, I created a video on how to create an effective self -interest introduction video. I hope you're going to be checking it out because it covers your written self-introduction, your profile photos, and the video self-introduction. You guys know, teaches that I'm very big on self-introductions because that is something that could really sell you and use that to your advantage. When you are getting started here in Native Camp, it's important that you really invest time and effort to make an awesome self-introduction that really shows your brand. Who are you as a teacher? What's your teaching style? And what benefit will students get? from you. All those things you should cover on your self-introduction. Tip number two, take sudden classes during peak hours. So in Native Camp, we have this peak time indicator. If it's like zero dots or one dot, it means you're going to expect nothingness during that slot. You're most likely not going to get students. But if you see like three dots, four dots, five dots, it means there are many students who are 
looking for teachers during those time slots. Make sure that when you're taking sudden lessons, you plot during peak hours. Because, why? Because you don't want to end up waiting for nothing, right? You want to make sure that when you wait, after a few seconds or a few minutes, you're going to get a sudden class. Now, what is my usual schedule? Well, this is what works for me because most of my students are Taiwanese. I usually plot um, seven, six or seven days a week, um, 1 p.m. until about 3.30 p.m., then 4 p.m. until 5 30 then i take a break i take another class seven o'clock to 9 p.m then 10 p.m until 12 a.m those are the hours that work works uh, work for me so uh, with this it's important that whenever you're plotting for sudden classes you plot them for uh, during the peak hours and i said no to sudden classes but the thing is if you do not have a feature tag you're, you're not basically you know offering your classes for free then the only way that you could get more regular students is for you to take sudden classes and convert those sudden classes into regular students that's the key there so once again make sure you always refer to the peak time indicator available on the native camp portal Tip number three, you must have the mindset that a sudden class is a trial class. So what do I mean by that? Previously in Akatsok, I used to be a trial class teacher. What do we mean by that? This is a teacher who basically gives a student a glimpse of how it's like to sign up for the company and learn from teachers there. So a trial class teacher um, gives the student, you know, the best of the best experience possible. We entertain them, we sing songs, we make sure that they have a great time, and we just just don't simply do our job and teach. We make sure that this student falls in love with us. And that's what I mean by a trial class. You have to treat a sudden class as if it's a trial class and that your goal is to make the student fall in love with you so that from a sudden class, they will become regular students. They would want more of teacher Karen. They would want more of you because they had a great experience in your class. So whenever you treat your sudden class as a trial class, you have to go the extra mile. You have to entertain them, um, make sure they have a great time, smile and use props. I have tons of uh, dolls here. I have special rewards for my students, just like cupcakes. I also have rewards like stars. I even um, greet my students with an emoji. So I give them like, you know, a wonderful experience on my class. Of course, if it's an adult, I won't be using these props, but I would make the adult feel that I'm a friend who's trying to help you achieve your goal. I start my class um, knowing what the, the, the student's learning goal is if they want to pass IELTS, TOEFL, they want to get promoted at work so that everything that I do for them revolves on helping them attain or achieve their goal. Tip number four, don't be basic. You got to stand out, teacher. Uh, when I say basic, well, basic would be everything that you've learned from the learning kit, you know, the SOP of Native Camp that, you know, they have the student has to repeat twice for the review session. They have to repeat three times and basically just follow the script and all. So don't be basic. That's already like the basic expectation from us, right? You have to stand out. You have to um, make yourself memorable, um, either by being sincere, being friendly, establishing rapport, making the student feel special. And this is something I learned from Akinsok. You have to share a highlight. You know, what what can you do that other teachers can't? Um, if your student is a child, you can like play the guitar, you could do magic tricks, um, you could uh, dance, sing songs, do silly faces. So you have to continue surprising your students because you don't want to be basic. You want to stand out so that you're memorable. And do you want to know why you have to be memorable? Because in Native Camp, many students have a group chat it's a group chat where students get to help each other. They share awesome experiences with teachers and they recommend teachers on the chat on, on their group chat. So that's actually one of the reasons why I got fully booked. Um, this Taiwanese student of mine shared my profile to, to their group chat for Taiwan. And then afterwards, after a few days, I got fully booked and most of my students were Taiwanese and it was because of that group chat. And that's the reason why it's important that you stand out because one happy student would share 
to the world how awesome their experience is with you. But of course, when they're unhappy with you, um, expect that they're also going to be ruining your name on the on their on their group chat. So you have to be careful as well. Tip number five, get more badges. So when you're starting off in Native Camp, you only have about five badges because these are the assessments that you've completed for the learning kit, uh, daily news, grammar, and so on. So you have to take um, other courses from the learning kit. There's about 26 in total. You have to watch the videos, take the assessment, and request for a badge. I'll be creating a separate video on how to request for badges, but there are also instructions on how to request for badges available from the inquiry tab all you have to do is simply study take the assessment and request for a badge and what's in it for you why do you need more badges because the more badges you have the more topics you can cover the more books you can teach the more students you can get that's how important it is that's why for me i started requesting for badges even before my account got activated because as a new native camp teacher your account will be deactivated not until your self introduction gets um, approved by the admin so while waiting for that you could like like multitask and take the self-study courses from the learning kit, pass the assessment and request for badges. And trust me, you're going to be, you know, experiencing um, a big difference in terms of the number of bookings that you're going to be receiving. Tip number six. This is another secret that I'd like to share with you. Never cancel book classes. Why? Because students would see if you are the type of teacher who cancels book classes, and that's a big no-no. Students wouldn't want to book teachers who cancel book classes. They want a teacher they could rely on and teacher teachers whom they could trust. So once a student books your class under no circumstances should you cancel the classes, not unless, of course, it's an emergency, just like what happened to me. That's why I have like a 2% cancellation rate back in August because my husband almost had dengue. So I had to cancel my slots. But never again have I done that because it affects my booking rate. So once again, rule of thumb, another secret is never, ever cancel book classes. You can cancel classes that are still available wherein no one has booked those classes yet. It's okay. It won't affect your booking. But if a student Student already booked the class, never cancel it, not unless it's an emergency. And finally, in relation to not being basic, Tip number seven is exceed expectations. Of course, every student expects you to teach them the material and to simply follow the script. That's already what they experience from other teachers. But when I say exceed expectations, encourage your students to speak because you have to give them an experience that is different from what they already experience when they're studying YouTube videos or online videos. Your students are booking your classes because they want to talk. Give them opportunities to speak, increase your students' output, and more importantly, it's also important that you bank on knowledge extension. And knowledge extension is all about sharing other pieces of information, vocabulary, sentence patterns that are related to what you are teaching. By doing knowledge extension, your student would feel that, hey, they are getting you know, what they're paying for and more. And when you make people feel that they're getting more than what they're paying for, they would love you, they would fall in love with you, and they would want to have more classes with you. Let's say I'm teaching a student about fruits. I'd also teach the student about vegetables as a knowledge extension. That's an, a way for us to maximize what they could learn from your class. So there you have it, teachers, my seven secrets on how you could be fully booked here in Native Camp. Gone are the days when you would have to worry because, you know, you're stuck with sudden classes or you're not getting any book classes at all. Trust me, if you do these seven secrets, these seven tips, you will be fully booked. If I can do it, I'm just on my sixth or seventh week, you can also do it. And that's the reason why I'm making this video. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, Teacher Karen, and comment below if you have any questions or comments and of course if you'd like to be a part of this company again don't forget to add my email address askteacherkaren at gmail.com as the referrers be a blessing to the people around you bye bye